Summertime means school's out. It's time for vacation or maybe hit the beach. But for some here in the low country, this season is often their busiest of the year. For small hotels and restaurants and resorts and other types of seasonal work. As News 2's Margaret Chadbourne explains, this year has proven harder to hire, hire seasonal employees, though, than in years past. Companies that pull in seasonal workers, such as lifeguards, resort staff, waiters and waitresses, well, they're finding it harder to hire the help they need. The reason full-time jobs are easier to come by as the economy improves and fewer people are looking for seasonal work. Uh, we have seen a little bit of a decline in people that uh, have been applying. The Charleston County Park and Recreation Commission is one of the area's largest employers of summer workers. In peak season, they'll bulk up their staff to more than 700 part-time employees. But once September hits, that number drops closer to 300. Uh, but here, since we have such a peak volume of people coming, um, we obviously need a lot more help um, so that we can provide better services to everybody. Melissa Peacock, overseeing the lifeguard staff and supervising local swim programs, says this year it's harder than most to fill these jobs. We reached out um, and we try to, to bring people in, but for some reason, I guess there's not as much interest as there used to be in the positions. In South Carolina and across the country, Fewer visas for temporary workers, combined with the lowest U.S. unemployment rate in almost a decade, means hiring seasonal workers is a challenge. With a shortage of temporary workers this summer, some businesses say they will need to raise prices or cut back hours. But with thousands of tourists visiting the resorts, parks and beaches, employing seasonal staff is key for the state's economy. Pay, the pay is not terrible, but I mean, you know, you're, you're hanging on the beach all day, so it's, there, there are a lot worse jobs to have. Memorial Day weekend is a traditional kickoff to summer, and tourists are already arriving, ready to spend their money in the Tri-County area. On Folly Beach, Margaret Chadbourne, News 2.